one of the things that an LLM is good at is actually deep biasing. Um, and yeah. so you can feed it a news article and you can tell it strip out the bias. Yeah, that's nice, right? And it actually does it. Like it actually knows how to do that because it knows how to do, among other things, it actually knows how to do sentiment analysis. And so it knows how to pull out the emotionality. Yeah. Um, and so uh, that's one of the things you can do. It's very suggestive of the of the, 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 the sense here that there's there's real potential in this issue. Um, you know, I would say, look, the second thing is there's this, there's this issue of hallucination, right? Um, and there, there's a long conversation that, that, that we could have about that. Hallucination is uh, coming up with things that are totally not true, but sound true. Yeah, so it's basically, well, so it's it's sort of hallucination is what we call it when we don't like it. Creativity is what we call it when we do like it, huh. right? Um, and, you know. Brilliant. Right. And and so when the engineers talk about it, they're like, this is terrible. It's hallucinating, right? If you have, have artistic inclinations, you're like, oh, my God, we've invented creative machines. Yeah. For the first time in human history, this is amazing. Um, or, uh, you know, bullshitters. Well, bullshitters, but, but also. <laughs> to, 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 in the good sense of that word. There's, there's, there are shades of gray though. It's interesting. So we had this conversation where, you know, we're looking at my firm at AI and lots of domains. And one of them is the legal domain. So we had this, this conversation with this big law firm about how they're thinking about using this stuff. And we, we went in with the assumption that an LLM that was going to be used in the legal industry would have to be hundred percent truthful, right? Verified, you know, there, there was this case where this lawyer apparently submitted a, a, a GPT uh, generated brief and it had like fake, you know, legal case citations in it. And the judge right. is going to, he's going to get his law license stripped or something. Right. So, so like we, we just assumed it's like, obviously they're going to want the super literal like you know one that never makes anything up not the creative one but actually they said with what, what the law firm basically said is yeah that's true at like the level of individual briefs but they said when you're actually trying to figure out like legal arguments yeah. right like you you actually you you actually want to be creative right you don't again th there's creativity and then there's like making stuff up like what's the line you actually want to be you want it to explore different hypotheses right you want to do kind of the legal version of like improv or something like that where you want to float different theories of the case and different possible arguments for the judge mm -hmm. and different possible arguments for the jury and by the way different routes through the you know sort of history of all the uh, of all the case law and so they said actually for a lot of what we want to use it for we actually want it in creative mode and then basically we just assume that we're going to have to cross check all of the um you know all the specific citations and so i think i think there's going to be more shades of gray in here than people think um, and then I, I just add to that, you know, another one of these trillion dollar kind of questions is ultimately, you know, ver sort of the verification thing. And so, um, you know, is will 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 LLMs be evolved from here to be able to do their own factual verification? Um, will you have sort of add on functionality like like Wolfram Alpha, right, where, um, you know, and, and other plugins where where that's the way you do the verification? You know, uh, another, by the way, another idea is you, you might have a community of LLMs on, any, you know, so, for example, you might have the creative LLM and then you might have the literal LLM fact check it. Right, and so th there's a variety of different technical approaches that are being applied to solve uh, the hallucination problem. Um, you know, some people like Jan LeCun argue that this is inherently an unsolvable problem, but most of the people working in the space, I think, think that there's a number of practical ways to kind of kind of corral this in a little bit.